babe, can you go buy toilet paper and bread, please, from the shop? Oh, what? I was just in the shop. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, I didn't remember before, did I? Okay. Babe, so it's just bread and toilet paper we need, yeah? Yeah. Oh, actually... Oh, no. We need... Uh, you know what we need? Um, we would probably need... Um, Ten minutes later. Ah, uh, we probably need um some, you know, you know. I'll kill me now. Yogurts. We need yogurts. Ah, oh, right. Okay, cool. Yogurts, toilet paper, and bread. No problem. Ten minutes later. Hello, babe. Yeah. Uh, I'm at the shop. I've got the bread. I've got the yogurts. What else was it we needed? Oh, for goodness sake, toilet paper. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, toilet paper. All right, thanks. Thanks, babe. Bye. Oh, actually, we need... Darling, uh, we finished the shopping, yeah? Should we go to the till? There's no one queuing at the moment. Wait, I'm trying to decide what toilet paper I want, all right? All right, babe. There's like six people in the queue now, love. Will you shut up? I don't know which one I want. Now, do I want quilted... Or unquilty. Bloody hell. There's like a hundred people in that queue now. Oh, I just remembered. I bought toilet paper this morning. You what? Right then, why don't you get in the queue? I'll go wait in the car. We was in the car and she said to me... Real gentlemen open the car door for their wives. So of course I said... The only reason any man would open a car door for his wife is if the car's new or the wife's new. Oh no! What'd she say to that? Nothing. She just threw my car keys in a bush. Oh dear. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and see if she's calmed down now. Uh... Ten minutes later. Hello, my love? We are there. My darling, what do you reckon if I go out for a drink with the boys tonight? Would that be all right? Yeah, you can do what you want. You sure you don't mind, my love? Of course not. Well, how would I mind? Okay, babe. As long as you're sure. Hello, boys. Hi, Mike. All right, mate. A pipe, please, Steve. Hello. Where the f*** are you? have been gone for hours. Babe, you alright? Going to the takeaway tonight, my love. Work was manic. I had no time for lunch. I am starving. From now on, we're eating healthy in this house. No more greasy takeaways, alright? I'm going to cook chicken and salad. Any more chicken left, my love? I'm starving. Oh yeah, we got that big box of donuts in the fridge, didn't we? No, we don't. Why not? I had them for lunch. Can't wait to be lying on the beach with my beautiful wife having a couple of drinks. Yeah, me too, babe. Would you like a drink? Yeah, two glasses of champagne. One for me and one for my beautiful wife. You're so sweet. You treat me like a queen, you do. Did you have to eat all that bacon and beans with breakfast? Well, you would have had some more if you weren't staring at that waiter. My God, you're like a broken record. Would you like a drink? Yeah, whiskey, no ice. And a chamomile tea for this hectic slap. Actually, I'll have three small bottles of that Prosecco you guys have. And a box of Viagra for this impotent prick. My wife has the most amazing ability. She can start an argument, vocalise both sides of the argument, and then win the argument without me even having to say one word. Case in point, this morning. She said to me, what do you want for dinner tonight? And before I can even say one word, she you said... You probably want something greasy, didn't you? Full of cheese. I want to eat healthy. But God forbid we eat something healthy in this house. Go on, go on. What are you going to say? You're going to call me a bitch, innit? You're going to call me a bitch. You're going to say, I'm a bitch, innit? You are, innit? You should really think about how you treat me. Now, I'm going to dinner around Tina's. You feed yourself. And you see, boys and girls, that is just one piece... Jay. What? Are you talking to yourself again? Yeah. Because you dragged me up the wall. What was that? Nothing. I love you.